Where did he got this information? So the ancient Egypt, the original one, not the one that we know of today, is actually in America. I know, that's... It's hard for me to wrap my head around this one too. But did you know that there's more pyramids in North America than there are in Egypt? Which is odd, because you would think that if the Egyptians were from modern day Egypt, there should be more pyramids there, not over here. But how did they get over here in the first place? Also, look at our dollar bill. It literally has a pyramid on the back of it. And that's the Washington Monument, which look a lot like obelisks over in Egypt. Really, the similarities are insane. Also, did you know that on April 5th in 1909, there was an article published about the exploration of G.E. Kincaid, which was funded by the Smithsonian, is where they discovered an enormous cave system in the Grand Canyon while G.E. Kincaid was floating down the Colorado River. And this cave system extended 1,600 meters into the ground. Like, that's massive. And they found Egyptian hieroglyphics. They found tools. They found pottery. They found even mummies in it. They found an entire room full of them. But they won't tell you that because to this day, the Smithsonian is in denial of ever funding such an exploration. And there are claims that G.E. Kincaid never even existed. But that's not a thing where it stops. Look at this old map of America. It's called T. Khan. And in the Egyptian hieroglyphic dictionary, Ti Amaru, which means people of the land of the Nile flood, AKA Egyptians. Ti Amaru, Ti Amari, land of the Egyptians. These are the Cherokee and Pawnee native Moors, which were the original black people in Ti Amari, the land of Egypt. And that leads to believe that the Moors of Ti Amari, the land of Egypt, are the original Israelites and the original children of God.